Today we will learn to perform parametric study in Abacus model using MATLAB script. Also show an example, a very simple one of optimizing Abacus material parameter using MATLAB. In an earlier video, I have shown you how you can use MATLAB script and request any nodal or element output like stress, strain, force using MATLAB script. Please check that video linked in the description before you watch the rest of this video because that's a prerequisite. Because in this video, we will use that uh, procedure of reading nodal or element output and then further add optimization for optimizing different parameters in the model. The nodal or element output that you read is then put in an optimization loop in MATLAB. For illustrating the process of parameter optimization, some dog bone tensile model is used in this video. It is fixed at this end and pulled from this end. We will optimize the Young's modulus for this model such that if the model is pulled by 30 mm, the force response reaches 600 Newton. The optimization procedure requires a few MATLAB files and the input file that I have shared in the description. All the necessary M files and the input files are put in the same folder. Now we will run this uh, optimized script for optimizing the Young's modulus that produces 600 Newton force for an extension of 30 millimeter in the dog bone specimen that we showed earlier. So let's open that. This is the optimization script, not very long, that has a optimization request that I will explain to you very soon. But uh, right now, let's run this code. So when I run uh, this code, it actually calls a input file that runs the um, dog bone uh, abacus model. As there is an optimization procedure involved, this MATLAB script will need to run multiple Abacus simulation. And in the process, it will update the value of Young's modulus in the input file and uh, run the simulation and uh, try to see what's the final force output. So if it is lower than 600 Newton, so it will try to increase the Young's modulus. If it is greater than 600 Newton, we'll try to reduce the Young's modulus. But the simulation is still running, so we have already gone through one, two, three uh, simulation run. So it will probably need four, five or so more simulations until it finds the optimum Young's modulus. So let's wait for it and come back later. So the optimization is complete. The simulation ran for about seven times and uh, took uh, about two minutes. And finally, it decided the Young's modulus is 142 megapascal to achieve a force response of uh, 600 Newton. After the optimization procedure is completed, we can see there is a dogbone.odb file created uh, at the same folder where we started setting up our optimization. So we expect that uh, this is the result from the final simulation run for a 30 millimeter extension. The final force response is very close to 600 Newton. So let's open this uh, ODB file and check that out. Here I have plotted the force displacement response from the model and we can see the final force response is very, very close to 600 Newton. If we look at the result, we can see exactly how much it is and uh, it is actually very luckily exactly 600 Newton. So we have successfully optimized the Young's modulus that gives the maximum force to be 600 Newton. Now I will show you step by step how to set up this optimization procedure. In the given example, we started at a random Young's modulus and then we updated that Young's modulus into the input file. Then we ran the Abacus simulation on this uh, dog bone model. And after the simulation is completed, the output force and displacement response has been read using a MATLAB script. And uh, that force response from the simulation is compared with our objective force response of 600 Newton. Then MATLAB tries to optimize a good case of Young's modulus that can give us this force response and updates that Young's modulus into the input file and run that input file in Abacus again. And then it continues with the reading of a force response comparing with our target 600. And then again, based on the previous simulation runs experience, tries to optimize again. And then this loop continues until the optimization function can find 
a Young's modulus that uh, results in force response uh, very close to 600 Newton. And for the whole procedure, you will need three MATLAB scripts that I have given in the description of this video. And then you will take your input file from your model and put that in the same folder where you put the, your MATLAB scripts. Now we will set up the whole process. Let's copy the three given M files and paste it here. Now from the abacus model job, so I have created a input file by clicking write input. So it will write the input by the same name of the job dogbone. In the previous video, I have shown from where to collect this input file. I also put the input file in this folder. Let's open and see. Out of the many lines in the input file, we are interested in this particular line where we can update the Young's modulus. So this first entry gives the Young's modulus. So you will start from the value of 250 and then using the optimization, keep changing this particular value until we get the force response of 600 Newton. Updating this input file for new Young's modulus at each iteration of optimization is a key step in the whole process. To facilitate updating the input file, we will run a given M file that will make the input file a MATLAB function. And once we have the function, so from optimization, we can make that function to take different value of Young's modulus. So now I will show you how you can run the given M file to create the function from the input file. For that, we have to run this input to M file MATLAB script. So let's open that. In this uh, 27 line script, you will have to make two simple changes. First, in line 15 and line 12, you will change the name of your input file. For me, it was uh, dogbone. For you, if it is, for example, job1, so just change here job1.inp, also here job1.inp. And then in line 11, within the brackets, you will change what variables you want to optimize for. In my case, I will only optimize one variable, which is E or Young's modulus and save it. So all the changes required for optimizing my dogbone model is set up here. Now, if I run this particular script, it will create this MATLAB function that can create input file with any Young's modulus that optimization function asks for. Now I run this script and a M file named input underscore initial will be created in this folder. So let's run. And here we have this input underscore uh, initial dot M file created. So let's open that. So as I can see, this is a MATLAB function of the input file that can take any Young's modulus E and update it at uh, this place here. But we have to make a very simple edit here. So as we are uh, willing to change this Young's modulus, so we have to replace this with percentage S and uh, that means it will take any value. So the value it should take is the Young's modulus E. To put it here back, we have to use this num to str, so number to string and within bracket E. And by that, this MATLAB file is ready to create any input file that is demanded by the optimization function. I have already explained in the last video how read output works for nodes and for elements. For this video, we will use the read output node script. That leaves us with the last script optimization. Let's open it and try to understand what happens inside that. The most important lines in this code is uh, line 14 and line 17. To start with, you have to change your input file name here, here, and also here. Our objective force was 600 Newton. You can change it to whatever value for whatever variable or variables you want. Let's say you have guessed a random Young's modulus and the value of Young's modulus is X. When you put that value, you get the simulation response to be 500 Newton. Of course, your force objective was 600 Newton. Now this 500 from simulation minus your objective 600 squared will give you the error. This error in terms of optimization is called cost. As my optimization function has only one variable Young's modulus, I named the variable 
to be x. I optimized this variable x, which is Young's modulus, using the MATLAB function f min b and d, which is good for optimizing single variables. Here, b and d means the bound, so we can uh, define a lower and the upper bound or boundary where this optimization function will look for the value of x or that means the value of Young's modulus. So here what happens that f min b and d will try different Young's modulus value between 100 and 500 and put into the simulation and look at the simulation response and then look what is the cost or error so then it will continue to run different simulation until this cost or error is very small so that's how this f min b and d function is defined if you have more than one variable you can use x1 x2 x3 etc but in that case instead of using f min b and d it's uh, advised that you use this function f min con which is good for optimizing multivariable function in another video in the description i have explained how this function f min con works carefully note that when i run this optimization script a chain of action happens let's repeat that as our lower limit of f min bnd was 100 the optimization ask that uh, initial input m file to create an input file with uh, young's modulus of 100 megapascal and then that input file is run into the abacus simulation and after this simulation is completed this read output or nodal output read matlab script reads the final force output from the simulation the actions that i explained in the figure so far happens due to this portion of the code so look that there is a function here sim underscore res so this function is defined here this function takes the value of x and then put that value of x in our input initial and when this x or the young's modulus is put in input initial then we can see that in this function the x is put here as a result whatever value in this function we put here goes into goes into here so this value goes into here and as i said the f min b and d uh, starts with a Young's modulus value of 100 so that means the input file that is created here puts 100 here so the new input file is created this represents this portion from m file function to an input file with our desired Young's modulus and then next we will run the input file into abacus and as i have explained in earlier video that happens in this line of the code then this particular uh, script read underscore odb underscore output underscore node and as again i have explained in last video reads the output force displacement and uh, this line takes the last value or the end value of your force response array and stores it in f underscore end so this f underscore end is the output from the function sim underscore res so again this sim underscore res x this particular line takes actually any given value of young's modulus creates the new input file runs that input file and then reads the output force response and uh, collects the final force response so here you have the final uh, simulation force response now you are in a position that you can compare that with your objective force response and that gives you the cost and now look this cost is a function of x or the young's modulus that can be changed so now when you have this cost function as a function of x you can put that in this optimization function f min b and d and define the lower and upper limit and by doing that it will keep running for different values of young's modulus until it reaches a young's modulus that creates the force response or the final force response very close to 600 newton as explained by this schematic now to present the complete package in a limited time i have to choose a simple example but you can choose to optimize any other parameter yield stress fracture energy for example together with other objective nodal or element or surface output objectives 
the MATLAB scripts I am sharing here can be easily modified to accommodate for those changes. As I mentioned many times in this video, the other video in our channel can answer some of the questions that was not cleared in this video. So please check those videos. You can also find the link in the description. And if you still have questions, please let me know in the comment. Also, if you want to know how multi-objective optimization in Abacus works, I can discuss it in another video. Thank you.